There's a bridge nestled in the midst of swirling waters between India and Sri Lanka. But this isn't just any bridge, it's a bridge wrapped in mystery, legend and intrigue. Its name is Rama Setu or Adams Bridge. This 30-kilometer stretch of limestone shoals has been the star of countless myths, scientific studies and even UFO theories. Could this be the very bridge built by an army of monkeys for the Hindu god Rama? Or is it simply a geological formation sculpted by the hands of time? From radiocarbon dating to satellite imagery and ancient texts, let's embark on a journey to uncover the truth behind this fascinating structure. Adams Bridge, as it's alternatively known, isn't just a mythical construct. It's a tangible feature on our planet's surface, viewable even from satellite images. Spanning around 30 kilometers, this chain of limestone shoals extends from the southeastern coast of India, the Ramswaram Island, to Sri Lanka's northwestern coast, ending at the Manor Island. But what exactly is it, and how did it form? Let's venture into the fascinating realm of geology to comprehend this wonder. Adams Bridge, in the scientific perspective, is often explained as a natural geological formation, possibly a tombolo or a chain of barrier islands and shallow sandbanks formed by sedimentation and tidal actions over thousands of years. It's primarily composed of a series of parallel ledges of sand and limestone, patched up with boulders that appear to be randomly dispersed along its length. Scientists speculate that this geological formation was the result of a process called spit formation in the marine environment. A spit is a narrow strip of land that juts out into the sea from the coastline. It's formed by the longshore drift, a process where the waves hit the coast at an oblique angle, moving the sand or sediment down the coastline. Over millennia, this longshore drift could have built up a pathway connecting the two land masses. Fluctuations in sea levels due to natural climate changes or tectonic activities could have alternately exposed and submerged these sandbanks, creating the chain of islets we see today. But this isn't the only scientific theory. Some researchers propose that the bridge could be the remnant of a former land connection between India and Sri Lanka, dating back to an ice age when sea levels were considerably lower. As the ice melted with the change in Earth's climate, the sea levels rose, isolating Sri Lanka from the Indian mainland but leaving behind this mysterious link, a mute witness to Earth's eventful past. Whether it's the result of spit formation or a relic from the last ice age, the scientific perspective on Adams Bridge brings to light the complex and dynamic nature of Earth's geology and our continuous journey in understanding it. Ah, UFOs, unidentified flying objects, a staple of the mysterious and unexplained. A theory, perhaps the most sensational of all, has emerged suggesting that Rama Setu or Adam's Bridge wasn't built by humans or natural processes, but by extraterrestrial beings. While this may sound far-fetched to many, it's important to remember that we're in the realm of the unexplained, where sometimes the extraordinary is the norm. The UFO theory draws on several different strands of reasoning. First, there is the sheer scale and complexity of the bridge itself. According to the Ramayana, the bridge was built in just five days by a team of monkey-like beings known as the Vanara, using stones that floated on water. To skeptics, this description seems impossible, if not miraculous. Could it be they ask that the Vanara were in fact alien beings with technologies far beyond our comprehension? Another point in favor of the UFO theory is the precision of the construction, the bridge is made of a chain of limestone shoals that are lined up almost perfectly straight over an 18-mile span. This degree of accuracy, some argue, suggests advanced technology and planning that might have been beyond human capabilities at the time. Lastly, the UFO theory supporters often bring up the ancient astronaut hypothesis. This line of thinking suggests that extraterrestrials visited Earth in the distant past and had significant interactions with early human civilizations possibly even aiding in the creation of monumental structures like the pyramids of Egypt, Stonehenge and perhaps Rama Setu. Of course, it's crucial to note that while fascinating, the UFO theory remains just that, a theory. It's one of many possible explanations and currently there is no concrete scientific evidence to support it. But as we continue to explore our past, who knows what astonishing revelations the sands of time may yet reveal. This is what keeps the mystery of Adam's Bridge alive and intriguing. Rama Setu, known in the Hindu tradition, 
is an extraordinary example of how the spiritual world blends with the physical. As its name suggests, it's named after Lord Rama, a major deity in Hinduism and a central character in the epic poem the Ramayana. But this isn't just any bridge. The myth suggests it was constructed by a legion of monkeys, led by the bear king Jambavan and the monkey generals Nala and Neela, all in the service of Lord Rama. According to the Ramayana, Rama's wife Sita was kidnapped by the demon king Ravana and taken to his kingdom in Lanka, modern-day Sri Lanka. To rescue her, Rama needed a way to cross the vast ocean that separated India from Lanka. The solution? This bridge, constructed from floating stones, was said to be inscribed with Rama's name by the monkey army, causing them to float and form the bridge. This entire endeavor was overseen by Rama and his loyal devotee, the monkey god Hanuman. What's more fascinating about this myth is the representation of the bridge in various forms of Indian art, literature and theater. It signifies the victory of good over evil, the power of faith and the strength of unity. It isn't merely a physical bridge in these narratives, but a metaphorical one, representing the journey of self-realization, overcoming obstacles, and the path towards enlightenment. Whether or not you believe in the mythical story, the existence of the bridge has compelled many to reflect on the narrative's metaphorical implications. The bridge, through its connection to Lord Rima, represents a tangible manifestation of the epic story that has been a part of Indian culture for thousands of years. The myth of the Rama Setu continues to be deeply ingrained in the collective consciousness of the people, standing as a symbol of their rich and diverse mythological heritage. Radiocarbon dating and geological studies offer us the tools to peer into the past, providing empirical data that we can use to corroborate or challenge existing myths and legends. With Ramasetu or Adams Bridge, these scientific investigations are particularly crucial, given the cultural, historical and mythical importance of the site. Radiocarbon dating, also known as carbon-14 dating, is a method used by scientists to determine the age of organic material. This technique relies on the fact that carbon-14, an isotope of carbon, is constantly created in the atmosphere due to cosmic radiation and is absorbed by living organisms. When an organism dies, it stops absorbing carbon-14, which then begins to decay at a known rate. By measuring the amount of carbon-14 left in a sample, scientists can estimate when the organism died, and consequently, when it was last active. Some studies carried out on samples from Adams Bridge have suggested that the formation could be about 7,000 years old. These findings, if validated, could suggest that the bridge predates most known early human civilizations, adding an intriguing layer to its mystery. Apart from radiocarbon dating, geological studies also play an important role in understanding Adams Bridge. Geological assessments of the area indicate that the bridge might have been above sea level until it was broken by a rise in sea levels a few thousand years ago. Some scientists believe that the cyclical rises and falls in sea levels, caused by ice ages and interglacial periods, could have exposed and hidden the bridge multiple times over hundreds of thousands of years. The combination of these scientific methods offers us a way to piece together a factual narrative of Adam's bridge, albeit with some gaps and uncertainties. It is in these gaps where myth, history and science intermingle, sparking debates, theories and endless fascination. This complex interplay between different facets of knowledge underscores our collective quest to understand our shared heritage and the mysteries that time has veiled. Much like every other structure that has withstood the harsh and relentless test of time, Ramasetu too has faced significant deterioration. The exact causes behind its present condition are as multifaceted and complex as the structure itself. First, we must consider natural causes. The bridge is primarily made up of sand and stones, materials that are inherently susceptible to erosion. Over thousands of years, the ceaseless pounding by the sea would have slowly but steadily worn down the structure, causing parts of it to collapse. This is a natural occurrence that affects all coastal structures and landscapes, not just Ramasetu. The fact that the structure still exists today is a testament to the robustness of its original construction. Secondly, rising sea levels also have a crucial role to play. Over the centuries, global sea levels have fluctuated due to various climate changes. In periods of significant sea level rise, more of the bridge would have been submerged, leading to increased erosion and the potential collapse of parts of the structure. Thirdly, we should not discount human activity. 
The area around Ramasetu has been a busy maritime route for centuries. Ship traffic, dredging activities and the general human interference could have potentially accelerated the bridge's deterioration. Lastly, the region's seismic activity also deserves mention. South Asia is a seismically active region, and over the millennia, earthquakes could have altered the structure, causing parts of it to sink or collapse. In the grand scheme of things, the question isn't really why Rama Setu has deteriorated, but rather how it has managed to survive so long despite these numerous challenges. This conundrum adds another layer of intrigue to the enduring mystery of this ancient bridge. It's been a roller coaster ride through a maze of myths, science, skepticism, and even out of this world theories. The enigma of Ramasetu or Adam's Bridge reminds us of our timeless quest to understand our past and the answers that still elude us. Despite the erosion, rising sea levels, seismic activities and human interference, the fact that this bridge has endured the trials of time is itself a testament to the enigmatic wonder it beholds. Until our next adventure into the labyrinth of the known and unknown, remember, the universe never ceases to amaze and there's always more to explore, and as always, keep questioning, 